waiting for that magical moment. Welcome back. In front of me, I have what I got yesterday, which was the generic Target brand Shrinky Dink art kit. Um, so today we're gonna do two of the sheets, um, both designs. We've got animals and we've got um, food and like a star, rainbow, and a unicorn. And we're gonna try it multiple ways. I read the directions, they want you to do it in an oven or a toaster oven, um, but I've also got behind me a heat gun. So I'm thinking this should work perfectly. Um, I talked about in my other video a hair dryer. I don't think that would cut it, but I definitely think a heat gun will. Um, so we're gonna try it out and see which works best. I didn't have this as a kid. I'm not sure which method's gonna work best, so we will see. But let's start coloring and get into it. going with. I'm going to skip the corgi and redo him. They didn't come with an orange and I tried to grab one of my own real quick but I'll have to pick a different marker because it wasn't very saturated. So we're going to do the dinosaur.
and the donut. The rainbow. And the pizza. I found that the plastic really took the marker quickly and saturated fast. So you have to be really careful not to color outside the lines. But I think they still look really good. And when they get tiny, the details won't matter as much. So let's do two and two. Two in the oven and two with the heat gun. And let's do the heat gun first. This is just the cheapest heat gun at the hardware store. It was only $20. I've had a heat gun before, but actually mine was broken. So I just needed a new one. Um, it just has two settings, low and high. I'm gonna use the lowest setting simply because I think the highest setting will make it like fly around um, the tin foil and that would be bad. So, the directions say for the oven that it only takes one to two minutes. And then once it curls up and gets small, you need to leave it in the oven for another 30 seconds. So once it curls up and gets small, I'm just gonna leave it under the heat gun for another, say like 10, 15 seconds. So let's give it a try. That went pretty good. I was scared there for a moment because it did start flying around, but thankfully it stayed in one place. <laughs> so I think that's obviously going to be the, um, the tricky part about a heat gun. And you know, the downfall is that it can fly around. Um, it's not as controlled as an oven, but it looks really good and it's like crystal clear too. Wow. Cute. I love it. We're going to make charms with these later. All right, let's try the donut. I thought it was going to start sticking to itself. <laughs> I'm going a bit longer than I said. I think if you once there's like some air bubbles and so with the heat get those air bubbles out. You can kind of see it turning clear as well. Then you can really see the colors. The pink crust turned out really cute. <laughs> and the donut, cute. These two can be charms together because they're both food. We're at the oven. It said one to three minutes inside. Once it starts curling, another 30 seconds. waiting for that magical moment. Oh. 
I'm really interested to see which if any of these are better. So cool. Here they are straight out of the oven. I'd say they definitely look different, but let's get them over to the light. Here they are straight out of the oven. I'd say they definitely look different, but let's get them over to the light. So this is very interesting. The ones in the oven have this white sheen still intact see this you can't see my finger and the ones we did with the heat gun are clear so i guess it just depends what you're looking for because either one is super cute if you're looking for more color like say the rainbow i definitely think um you want more color in there. And see, I did polka dots in the background. Um, those would have probably been lost. Um, the donut, I did a little detail back here. That's gone. So I definitely think the oven shows more detail. That's true. Um, the heat gun was 20 times faster, obviously. Um, but both of them, they came out great. So, you know, it's definitely just dependent on what you want because this hanging on a keychain, it looks just fine. And so does this. They're both, they both have a wave. They both have, they're not straight. You know, it's just the curling. So, um, honestly, either way, I'd like, say you're doing like a little party, um, and you have like 20 of them. <laughs> everybody colors their own, throw it in the oven. But if you're just like doing something by yourself for fun, I wouldn't heat up the oven for that. So then I'd go with the heat gun. So this was a great experiment. Let's make some keychains. All right, so this was stuff I already had. Um, the kit came with string, but I am a little too fancy for that, so. <laughs> I'm not going to use the string. Um, if I, I would do that with like my nieces and nephews, but um, I think I'm going to go for something a little more fancy. So here we go. There you have it. Two keychains, four shrinky dinks.